Another chest x-ray is in front of us. We have seen a number of chest x-rays and all were with very obvious pathologies and hence were easy to understand. Well, we have a case here where you need some experience to interpret the x-ray correctly. The case in which abnormality is very subtle or I should say presentation of abnormality is very subtle but the abnormality itself needed prompt medication. The x-ray is of a young boy 11 years old, presented with cough and high grade fever. Lethargy was one of the presenting features. Abnormal sounds were heard on auscultation and he was clinically diagnosed with pneumonia. He was advised to have a chest x-ray and I will find it difficult to convince those of you who are new that this x-ray shows clear signs of consolidation here. If you compare the right lower zone with left lower zone, you'll notice that left lower zone is more aerated as compared to right, looks more black as compared to right in simple words. Right lower zone has somewhat increased markings and we have sort of lost clear definition of blood vessels in this area. So if you can compare, the vessels are clearly identified here. It's very difficult and you need uh, experience but you can and understand it. So we've lost a clear definition of blood vessels here. But what is more convincing? Look at the diaphragm here left hemidiaphragm and right hemidiaphragm. So there is a discontinuity here uh, in the diaphragmatic shadow. So this area you cannot actually draw the diaphragm with the help of a pencil here. You can actually draw the diaphragm with the help of a pencil clearly. Although the, the findings are very certain on chest x-ray but they were serious enough that the young man was treated with two antibiotics no further investigation or blood tests were performed and hence the actual name of the pathogen was never revealed. It took him three weeks to improve and I'll show you an x-ray after treatment. So this is the x-ray after three weeks of treatment and you can see the diaphragm is, is very continuous here and there is some improvement as well in, in right lower zone. The the purpose of this story is to tell you that infections or certain other conditions may not be visible on x-rays unless they are able to make an impression. There is a degree of sensitivity of each medical test and there are things uh, known as false positive or false negative. There are times when physicians have to depend upon clinical features only. Thank you very much.